Hey everybody, it's BohanGirl84, and welcome to my Let's Play of Code Veronica X. Woo, let's do this. Another another Resident Evil game. Ooh, shocker. It's kind of feeling good, feeling good about finishing up Catherine, so... Time for a fresh new perspective on a, another game. 500... Uh, I gotta clean out my PS3. Thank you, PS3, for, <laughs> for reminding me of that. I completely forgot. Let's start this timer up. Lots to talk about with this game. That intro is really loud. This is the HD version. It's downloaded a, a digital copy of it. I remember when this game first came out. And you guys know the game. It was first Resident Evil Code Veronica, and it only came out for the Dreamcast, which was horrible for me because I didn't own a Dreamcast. I only owned a PS1 at the time, then I got a PS... Well, then later I got a PS2. So I was like, okay, how am I supposed to play the game? I don't get it. Okay, so, 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 what do I do? How to play? I'll be pretty sad if I need to figure that out. Okay, so anyway, let's jump right into new game. Resident Evil. I hope I have space for this new save file. I had attempted this Let's Play before... If you guys um, have been subscribed to my channel for a the while, American Midwestern town, but Raccoon City has been completely I just due to the team got busy with stuff and then I just lost the save file, so I said, let me just play it again. Claire Redfield, who arrived in Raccoon City to search for her Resident Evil 2. And a rookie police officer, Leon S. Kennedy, managed to escape. I liked hearing that and saying, yeah, but there was a whole game dedicated to that. I only wish there was a whole game dedicated to the actual downfall of Umbrella, instead of one little blurb in the beginning of Resident Evil 4. Three months later. When I get to my Resident Evil 4 Let's Play, which, that's that's in the works, that's... And by in the works, I mean that's gonna be in the future. I'll be talking all about that. So yes, this is the HD version, which... Maybe it's my eyesight, but I don't Your really see the point of having this in I don't see it. <sighs> Welcome to your new home. Because somehow, to me, the cutscenes look Claire a little Redfield. more choppy than We caught her trespassing in our Paris lab facility ten days ago. She apparently infiltrated the complex looking for her lost brother, Chris Redfield. I love how Claire One Redfield goes from like... I mean, look, look at this. She's faster than bullets. Wow. I love how she goes from like college student who's somewhat capable of handling herself with a gun, which is believable because her brother is a member of STARS, to this is like Navy Steel status, like this is... Look at this! She managed to evade a minigun from a chopper. Oh, interesting little factoid about this chopper, apparently, I forget in which version of Code Veronica uh, this applies, but apparently Nikolai is the one piloting the chopper. Nikolai is attacking Resident Evil 3. I mean, seriously, what a badass. Like, man. Nothing can stop Claire. This is gonna be ripped off in the movie. Apocalypse. That's when I said, okay, these movies are officially no bueno. The live action movies, I mean. Okay, so. Don't move. Uh, okay. Really? She just sat there and killed, like a good 10 soldiers that were aiming machine guns at her and she did not hear this dude clomping very loudly down the metal steps behind her. Seems legit. I don't know, if I were trying to infiltrate a very high-tech, high-security facility, I wouldn't really be exposing my midriff. Just saying. That wouldn't be my outfit of choice. I would at least wear something, I don't know, maybe dark to conceal myself, do some Sam Fisher stuff, I don't know. I wouldn't wear bright red.
<laughs> I like this part. This part makes me chuckle. You'll see why in a minute. If I were equipped with a lighter, I could see outside. See, at least she's thinking that. Okay, first I'm just gonna do this just so that I can get rid of that from the inventory. Oops. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh gosh. Sorry guys, you're gonna have to forgive me. I'm getting used to the controls in this game. It's slightly different than Resident Evil 2. So they were basically setting us up to think that this was a zombie or something like that, which is which is always funny to me. It's like the classic scary movie, scary game technique. People that sit there and behave very erratically just to elicit a reaction of fear or a reaction of uncertainty. Get out of here. Nobody does that. This place is finished. I don't know, it might have been a special forces team. Or it might in have been any West cases, Spoilers. Been taken over. The troops have been wiped out. What are you saying? Why You're wouldn't they take a lighter from a prisoner? But you may as well know, you have no chance of getting off this island. And what about you? What are you going to do? You sit Don't here and jerk worry off. about me. That's probably why he let her go, so he can have a little alone time. He's like, yep, well, I'm gonna die, so I may as well, uh... Make it enjoyable. Make it livable. Okay, so. They, for some reason, they reversed the run and the action buttons. Only for this game compared to the other games. But there's not an option. There's nothing back here. There's not an option to... To switch it, which I, I really don't like. I don't even think in the original version of Code Veronica they did it like that. So it's kind of an interesting... Kind of an interesting decision on their part when they were making the HD version. Okay, I'm gonna be picking up these bullets. So, like I said, lots of things to talk about. Is there something here? Okay. I believe I mentioned this in my Resident Evil 2 Let's Play, but apparently the knife is really OP in this game. That's what I've heard. I don't know how true that is because I've never actually used it and I'm not going to use it right now. Although, it would be good practice to use it in preparation for if I ever decide to play Wesker's battle game in the battle mode because that's all he's given. I mean, I know he's a, he's a jackass. He's a hot jackass, but he's a jackass nonetheless. But a knife. And I don't even get the ability to use his super speed that he constantly flaunts in the cutscene in this game, that's a little unfair. <laughs> At least you get to use his speed in, in the Resident Evil 5 mercenary mode. I love the sudden jarring transition to slightly lower quality graphics. Like, oh hey, we kind of ran, ran out of money to continue this cutscene looking like this, so we're gonna just do it in the PS1 mode. I don't know. Claire had like a whole two minutes to get out of here, but uh, dramatic effects! Now she's screwed, right? I will be taking hits here, I am sure of it. There was like one time and one time only I was able to not get hit and just run out of there. Almost immediately, this game is ruined. Here we go. I would have been just fine if it were just Claire and Chris in the game. But oh no, they have to have this semen stain here. Wait, wait, oui, oui. don't shoot. Who are you? Huh? You're not a zombie. Look at those hands. Well, great. Wait right there. I'm coming over. Like square nails. HD. 
Uh, sorry about that little misunderstanding. But I thought you were another one of those monsters. Shut up. Make one wrong Just blow his brains out, Claire. Shoot. Relax, beautiful. I said I was sorry. Sorry? Steve. I was a prisoner on this island. And I'm guessing you're not from Umbrella either. No, I'm Claire. Claire Redfield. Claire? Hmm. Nice. I like how she that. says that like he's supposed to know who Claire hey, Redfield is. I heard there's an airport around here. But once I find it, I can finally escape from this crazy island. Well, I'll see ya. Hey, wait up! I don't want you following me, lady. You'll only slow me down. Okay, sweet. So at least I've got the handgun now, so I am not as vulnerable, which is good. Although I, I, I don't think Claire can die. <laughs> Seriously, she's just... I don't know what she did. She went to some boot camp or something. I don't know. It's kind of awesome. I, b I believe there's a green herb or something right here. I must admit this game is a little dark for my taste, and I don't... There's no option to turn up the brightness as far as I can tell. Okay. I have to sort of mentally prepare because I know there's zombies in here. Oh, he's probably gonna grab me. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna give myself a little room here. Oh, no. Not the, not the static camera angles. They're not so static here, though. They do move a little bit. Some of them. Okay. That's that's a real pet peeve of mine, having the gun anywhere else but the but the top left item slot. Oh, hello. There you go. There you go. Is he dead? Okay, he's dead. I think I see a pool of blood underneath him. Oh no, no, no. Die. Die, die, die. Are you dead? Okay. That's... Uh, I'll collect the map for... For hoarding purposes. Is that everybody? I guess that's everybody. I really thought that... I really thought that there were gonna be more zombies. I think almost immediately when I come right back out here, there will be zombies. This game... This game is... Kinda infamous for doing that trying to think. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and combine these because I need some, I need, I need at least two spaces for the, the guns that I'm gonna be picking up, which are pretty invaluable. There's one thing this game has, it's a, a plethora of weapons and ammo. This game is, it's pretty darn crazy for that. That guy's actually gonna come to life. I thought there were handgun bullets here, though. Maybe I'm- Oh, they're- uh, okay. I think, uh... I think they're underneath him. I have no choice but to wait to pick them up. So for a really long time, I've said that this has been- Oh, hello. Oh, oh I'm so glad that that hit him. Oh God! Wait, kick him. There we go. Turn around, quick, quick, quick. For a long time, this has been my second favorite Resident Evil. I've never had a favorite Resident Evil that's been anything other than the second game. That's just that's just always been the case. But um. But Resident Evil Cold Veronica for a while had been my second favorite game, but now I'm starting to, I don't know, I'm starting to, like, change my mind. I'm really starting to feel like the third game is starting to be my favorite. I don't know if I, if I could walk by that guy and have him grab me. 
I don't know. I don't know if he's just dead. I know in this game, they they slightly changed it compared to Resident Evil 2, where now they now Claire will look at any any dead body, even if it's never going to become active. Yep. Look how Claire has absolutely no reaction. She's just like, she's just like, yep, I've seen worse. This right here is a genuinely creepy song. I'm trying to think, where else does it, it plays somewhere else. Oh yeah, it plays later on when I have to come back here. Okay, hello, hello, zombies. See, at least there's good reason why these zombies are dressed alike. Because they're prisoners, so it makes sense. They're all in that. They're all in these, like, green... Sort of prison garbs. So, which makes sense, you know? But... Uh, except, of course, for Claire. I don't know why she's not dressed in green. Are they all dead? Yeah, they're all dead. Okay. Um... Am I able to do this yet? No. No. Let's release the lock first. Okay. I have to go through this area first before I can do all of that. So the third game is really starting to grow on me. I'm trying to think if there's any additional Please game. Please deposit any metallic items you have uh, in the security Any box. of the newer games, any uh, any of the games in the newer style, the more action-y, the more action-oriented games, they, they will never be my favorites. I mean, it's not to say that they're intrinsically bad games. And I will never say that. I don't, because I don't think there are. There's nothing bad about them. It's just that for Resident Evil games, they, to me, they really don't hold a candle to the classic games. And yes, people can, people raise really good points by saying, you know, um, Oh, the static camera angles and this and that, they were because they were due to the limits of the games back in the day. And I get that, but that helped to create that helped to create an, atmo an atmosphere of tension, which which really worked in its favor. These games now, I, I don't know. They don't even they're okay games, but that's the problem. They're just okay action games. They're now they've gone from a survival horror feel, which they revitalized the genre, right? back in the mid 90s to they now are kind of mediocre action games in a pretty crowded arena. There's a lot of competition Chris in that Redfield. area. What are you doing here? These people have really huge hands by the way. Chris Redfield. Is he a relative of yours or something? You mean my brother? Ah. Your siblings. Is he bro crushing on Chris? Well, it seems your brother is under surveillance by Umbrella. What? I've got to contact Leon and tell him to let my brother know he's being Leon! murdered. Leon! Good old Leon. It's a good thing I have access to an outside connection from here. Mm, that dial-up. Well, that file shows the latitude and longitude of this place. <laughs> Why don't you send your brother the coordinates and ask him to come help? Thanks. I'll do that. Hey. I was just kidding. There's no way he could get here, even if he is your brother. Yes, he can. I'm sure of it. No way. He won't come. You'll just end up disappointed if you rely on others. Believe me, I know. What was that all about? He was just on his period, Claire. Just ignore him. One thing I will say about this game. It's a fun game, but the characters are so grating on... On the ears, on the mind, on the soul. It's just... How can you take any of them seriously? S especially Steve is the Steve is the worst. But, well, you know what? No, no. I shouldn't say that. Steve and Alfred are just... Seriously. There's not even a word to describe them. Like, there's no 
no reason why they could have had more they couldn't have had more badass characters in here like i said and i say this a lot but it's really worth mentioning and stressing the characters in resident evil 2 it feels like there's been a decline since the early resident evil games even to this game and it's it's really quite astonishing. Please deposit any metallic items you have in the security box. Oh, and by the way, that switch that I pressed in the other room where, where I talked to Steve, uh, why didn't Steve press it? Or why didn't Steve flick it open? Useless! In all seriousness, I really don't understand how Steve is. People can like Steve. I don't know. Like, oh, Steve and Claire look cute together. No, they don't. No. Just no. Poor Claire deserves so much better. I like the dynamic between Claire and Leon. And it's it's not the whole, she's going to be a damsel in distress and then she falls in love with Leon. Which I really, I really think that that's pretty damn impressive. I'm like, that is pretty cool. She's just... He's just uh, trying to survive, and so is he, and they're just depending on each other. And I, I think that, that is, that's such a pretty awesome, non-cliche thing to do. Okay, still hear somebody walking around, but I have no... Oh, she sees it. Are we done here? I guess we're done here. Okay, do I have space? Yes, I do, but uh, it's starting to get a little tricky here. Okay. I do believe there's- oop. Be oh my god. It would be good if I could actually go through the door. Tank controls. So the bottom line is I'll keep the Steve bashing to a minimum. I did plenty of Vincent bashing when I did my Catherine Let's Play. And... Oh, I can't use the, the padlock key on this. Okay. So I'll try to refrain from that. I know that- Irritated. Oh shit! Oh my god, I was not expecting him to- Oh god! Whoa, 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 whoa. Are there two or three dogs in this area? I think there's only two. <laughs> okay, that was a little- that, that was a little tense right there, I'm not gonna lie, but uh... I'll be alright. Damn it. I have to come back. Padlock. Did I pick up the knife by mistake? I usually... I usually leave the knife behind. Oh, I did. Okay. Okay, let's go ahead and use this so I can discard it. And that'll make life a little more easy anyway, so... There's no reason not to do that. Okay. So here we go. There's a guy right here. Okay, we're good. And by guy, of course, I mean zombie. You know, the whole T-Virus transmission thing. I don't get it. This is not the first game to feature the whole cliche zombies coming out of the grave thing. But how did they become zombies? They were already dead, right? And my understanding is that the T-Virus is, is transmitted by bite from one organism to another. So... How... How did the corpses, basically, that were in this graveyard, how did they contract the T-Virus? Uh-oh. If it's through the rain, then I think Claire's in trouble. G01, blah blah blah. It's made of a mimetic poly alloy. Cool. Here we go. We're done. Alright, now I can finally get out of this area. And how about Wesker's voice actor, huh? Wesker's had, what, like 50 voice actor changes? <laughs> 
throughout his times in the Resident Evil games. I mean, what's up with that? He okay. Let, let, let's run through the list, shall we? He, I mean, of course, in the very first Resident Evil, the very original version of the first Resident Evil, he had some dude. I I I, I, I don't know what his name is. Um, <laughs> it's just some random dude. Pretty American accent, right? All right, all right, maybe he could have been Canadian for I know. I don't know who the voice actor is. But then, the next game he's in Please is what? It's this game, Code Veronica. In the security box. So, this marks the first of, like, two, three games that he's in, where he's, uh, voiced by Richard Wall. And this is the first time he actually has a British accent. For some reason, and it's never explained. I don't know what's up with that, but before I go on, what I'm going to do actually is this. I'm going to make my life a little easier. Oh, make my life a little easier. I'm going to go through this area. There you go. Bring down the shutters. And the reason why I'm doing that is to prevent the zombies from crashing through. What normally would happen is if the shutters are up while you're doing this, as soon as this is complete, the zombies will come crashing through the windows into this area and will make your life a living hell. And I am not Neo from the Matrix, so I don't dodge very well, so I just rather do it this way. It took me several playthroughs to, to figure this out, but I gotta press this though. So they'll keep banging on the glass, but I'm safe for now. When I, I, I'm gonna have to come back here later, but but at least I'll be at least I won't have to run through this area. You know what I mean? Okay, I'm gonna take all of that, and I'm gonna take the fire extinguisher now because I really don't want to forget it, and I don't want to have to run around to get it again. So. I'm all set. Now I can go into the next area, which is the the palace, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. But going back to Wester's voice actor, Richard Waugh did his voice in this game. He did his voice... Oh boy, I forgot about the dogs here. I always forget about this part. Why? I don't know. <laughs> and Richard Waugh did his voice in Resident Evil 4. Hello, zombie. Oh my god, that was awesome. Okay. Off we go. I don't know why we need a sudden drag close up of the door, the gate opening, but... But there you go. Did Richard Waugh do his voice in anything else? I know he did his voice- he did Wesker's voice in the Wesker Report, which was a DVD that came with... I cannot proceed from this side. I don't understand that, Claire, but I just want the bullets. Pushing, pushing this. Here we go. But game-wise, did he do anything else? I don't... Oh, he did Zero! He also did the voice of Wesker in Zero. I forgot. Yes, so it, it was three. At least three games. Oops. Plus the Wesker report. I'm not sure if he did anything else. But I do like how in the middle of Richard, Richard Wall voicing him in all of those games, they had the remake where... They had another guy voice Wesker, who was who had again an American accent. I think his name was Peter Jessup, if I'm not mistaken. And yes, I, before you ask, yes, I've studied this a lot. Yes. Okay, I believe I'm just about out of time, but I will I'll go ahead and clear this area and clear the next area. Come on. We're good here. This area will be populated again in a little while, but I'm safe for now. I believe there's like three dogs or something in here. Oh. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, that's one down. 
I like how the dog sounds like it's in stereo. Or is it both dogs that I'm... Oh, shit. I think it was just that one dog that was making that noise. Take that, Peter. God. I'm so sick of their nonsense. Jesus. I mean, I can understand their cause and all. I get it. But they're really gonna attack video games? They're games, people. They're fiction. I really think they have some serious mental problems if they really think that me playing a game like Super Mario is gonna cause me to kill some animal that doesn't even exist. Like, I guess they're saying it's a raccoon or something like that, but but really? Really? We're really, we're, we're really that psychotic, huh? Okay. You know what? Let me just go ahead and make my way up to the save room. Might be a good time to... to kind of pause for the next video. But, uh... Alright. I'm gonna end the video here. I'll be right back.